As concerns arise, a local diocese is now preemptively forgiving parishioners for skipping out on Sunday Mass. Religious organizations across the nation and in our region are following suit with those precautions. Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Hayes is live for us tonight in Scranton with the details. Kevin? Well, Nick and Candace, guidance from the mouth of the governor to the ears of Pennsylvanians and religious organizations across the Commonwealth. It's the latest in steps taken to try and deter the spread of the coronavirus, as well as other seasonal illnesses in our region. I'm strongly encouraging all large gatherings, especially those with more than 250 attendees to be either canceled or postponed. That guidance coming Thursday afternoon as concerns about coronavirus and other illnesses grow, and that includes religious organizations. Not too long after, the Diocese of Scranton announcing a preemptive forgiveness for not attending Sunday Masses. They're advising church members to use common sense if they feel more comfortable staying home, it's okay. Now it's important to point out that all of our churches will remain open, masses will continue, but this is just one of those precautions that people have been asking about because a lot of people are fearful about the, the coronavirus that is making its way through the country right now. The faithful and other religious groups are taking precautions by canceling and postponing large group events in line with guidance from Governor Wolf. Some people say the church is right to urge caution. I'm very hopeful that this is all overblown and that we won't have any kind of great contagion or any problem, but I think at this point in time to be cautious is uh, the right thing. The diocese says use your best judgment. Their doors are open. When we talk about, you know, who should be coming to mass, if you're healthy, by all means, we invite you. We want you here at mass. But if you're sick, please stay away. Yes, and so already changes have been made within the diocese to things like taking communion or offering the sign of peace in mass. It's now up to parishioners to self-police, and the diocese stresses if you have even that second thought about whether you should attend, whether it be for the health of yourself or those around you, it's okay to stay home. Live in Scranton, Kevin Hayes, Eyewitness News. Kevin, thank you. And as Kevin mentioned, other religious organizations are taking steps to avoid large gatherings. And we'll keep you up to date with major closings, cancellations, and postponements as they are announced.